Hey guys, welcome to another video and this is the first one where you hear my voice. I hope you like it. Let's go! In this video I am going to show you the construction of a Bluetooth speaker. To make the box I use MDF, which turned out to be a mistake and later in this video you will see why. The template is in the description if you want to make one like this. I start by opening the speaker hole. First with the drill to be able to insert the blade of the jigsaw and finish the hole. On the back plate I open two more holes using the same method. The central hole for loudspeakers to breathe and the rectangular one to insert the USB charging port and the switch to turn it on and off. Well, to start, I start with a mistake. If I glue the rear plate, how do I insert the components of this speaker? I thought about cutting this mistake, but mistakes are part of these projects and we should learn from it, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, I know I made a mistake. With the bottom already glued, the sides and the top are missing. In order not to use screws, I decided to put wood pins. And I think it's a better idea than screws. I don't know why, but I think it looks better. Get ready to push because it's a little difficult to insert these pins. Or I don't know, maybe I'm just weak. A piece of MDF left over it's a good help for this. Everyone already knows this mixture that helps to disguise the mistakes we make when working with wood. But I will tell you again, you need wood glue and sawdust. It's an easy mix, isn't it? And really, really helpful. I don't know if it was the measurements I took, the cutting with the jigsaw, or both, because I had to use a lot of mixture to disguise this. Eventually, I managed to fill all the defects and there were so many that I think 50% of the box is a mixture of glue with dust. Sorry, with sawdust. Do you know what happens to those who do not know how to take measurements, do not know how to cut with the jigsaw and use a lot of mix? Spend hours and hours sanding. Before taking off the template and finish sanding, make a 5mm hole to insert a lead. Sanding work completed! That's better! I could have glued the rear to the rest of the box, but that would not allow me from making changes or repairs later. I decided to put machine screws using threaded nuts on MDF and it was not a good idea.
Anticipating that the MDF would not stand the pressure, I put a clamp, but it still wasn't enough. Mental note, do not use these threaded nuts on MDF. I solved the problem using the mixture again. In this construction the mixture was my best friend. It really was. Mark and drill the location of the speaker screws. MDF is a bit complicated to paint because it is very porous and absorbs much of the paint. I used white acrylic paint as a primer and apply three or four coats to make it uniform. Damn MDF! I know this color is not for everyone, but I love orange. What can I do? Three coats later. I used black on the back to contrast with the orange. The black covers the MDF surprisingly well. It took just two coats to make it look like this. I am an ardent fan of recycling and I cannot resist reusing something for another job. In this case, I used an old belt as a an handle and it looks great. Drilling the box for the handle screws was the most difficult. I couldn't make mistakes. I no longer had orange to repaint, but luckily it went well. It looks good. Serving as a handle is better than holding my pants. These are 20 watt car speakers with 10 cm in diameter with the advantage of having Twitter included. Look at the color of that Twitters. I love this orange. This is the main module, it's a DWCT14+. It is super cheap and has an acceptable sound quality. It is stereo with 5 watts per channel and Bluetooth connection. I removed the SMD LED and soldered a 5mm with a 2K resistor in series. This is the charging module, and I also removed the SMD LEDs and replaced them with 3mm LEDs. The battery was intended for the PlayStation DualShock, but since it was not in use, it will power the Bluetooth speaker. The template for this small board is also in the description, and I also used MDF. Yeah, this one works well. Let's start putting this together. The video is already long. If you made this far, thank you. And congratulations on your patience. An on off switch to turn this thing on and off. It's important, isn't it? How else would you turn it on? I could use a... Nah, forget it. 
time to install the charging module. I removed the battery because there was no way to do this with the battery. At this time, hot glue is one of our best friends. Charge indication and full charge LEDs. Everything in place! Ok, connecting the speakers to the module. Don't forget, the left speaker connects to the left plug and, you know what? The right speaker to the right plug, in case you don't know. Last step of the assembly, tighten the screws on those threaded nuts that made the MDF have a hard time. Damn MDF. Charging! Haha, <laughs> time to test! Everyone tests the speakers with electronic music and I will continue the tradition. Drop the beat! I hope you liked it, that's it, the end.